Greetings, my learners. Um, today I'm with my colleagues here. Uh, today we're going to learn about nouns. Before we go deeper on nouns, firstly, we should go back on our previous lesson. We learned about verbs, right? We said a verb is a doing word, right? Okay. Today we're going to learn about nouns. Remember, we learned about nouns. So, firstly, before we go deeper on nouns, we should know our learning intentions, right? We should know the types of nouns. It is important to know the types of nouns and we should know the differences of the nouns, of the type of nouns, right? And we should be able to identify the types of nouns in the sentence, right? Okay, uh, firstly, a noun. What is a noun? You should ask yourself what is a noun. A noun is a naming word. A noun is a naming word or it is a word that names something such as places, things, ideas. Okay? In foundation phase, we only have two types of nouns. We have a common noun, we have a proper noun. Yeah? So, we're going to go deeper on those two, um, two types of nouns. Before I go deeper, Miss Onyana will teach about common nouns. Oh, greetings, my learners. As my colleagues say, we're going to learn about what? Common noun. So, they say common noun is a generic name for a person, a place, a thing in a class or in a group. As you know, we're in a class, so we have many, many, many common nouns. This is a word, is a common noun. So, common nouns are not capitalized unless it's beginning a sentence or appear in a title. So, as you see in my chart, we have a lamp, a chair called TV window, ambulance. This is what a uh, common noun. So, in this literally word uh, assessment, so I say underline a common noun. So, the first time they say you broke what? My mark. Mark, mark is what is a common noun. So, my mother is cooking. Well, as you know, my ma mother is what is a, is a person, so mother is what is a common noun. So I'm going to pass to my colleague. <clears throat> okay, my learners, I'm going to do proper nouns with you. What are proper nouns? Proper nouns are people, places, and things, but they are most specific. Proper nouns are always capitalized because they are the names of people, places, and things. Now, my learners, I have a chart here to show you the examples of proper nouns. So, under person, we have Tom, we have Cindy, we have Miss Jones, and maybe we can give an example of, maybe we can say Dr. Masemola. Then under place, we have SD Jones School. Then uh, under things, we have a Kit Kat. As we know, Kit Kat is a chocolate. Then under events, we have Christmas. We can name them, <coughs> my learners. But remember that uh, each name must be capitalized. Thank you. I'm going to pass. Um, Ms. Wani to talk about the example. OK, my learners. Now I'm going to show you the examples of both common noun and proper noun. Firstly, let's go about a common noun. Here we see a common noun, it's a non-specific weight name. So now I'll make use of three examples. First one. The car, animal, and country. Why are we saying these words are non specific? Firstly, the car, there are many different types of car, but we didn't, we didn't specify which car, which makes it a common man. Animal, also, there are many elements, but we didn't specify which element. Also, that applies to current. So now, we move to proper noun. Since we said on common noun, they are non-specific, 
So individually on proper nouns, they will be what? Specific. So now, let's specify car. The type of car. Which car? BMW. Now we specify that which car is a BMW, which makes it a proper noun. We go to animals. Which animal? Lion. Now, the word animal is specified that which animal and it's a lion, which makes it a proper noun. Country. Which country? South Africa. We are specifying. I hope you all understand. Then, then uh, to go further, because in our learning sessions, we said you should be able to identify a type of noun in a sentence. Okay, we make a one, one a example for each noun. Here we make use of a car. Okay, my sentence will go about my father. Uh, but a car. My father bought a car. This is a common noun. We didn't specify that what type of a car your father bought. So now, on a proper noun to specify her, we say my father. Uh, please forgive, uh, forgive me for my handwriting there. Eh? But A, so now we specify which car? B, M, W. Hope you all understood. I'll hand it over to Miss Marcella. Good afternoon once more. Today we have learned about nouns and types of nouns. And I have an activity for you. Sorry. I have an activity for you, but before we get to the activity, we have to know the difference between common noun and proper noun. Common noun are nouns, things that we see when we move around, and proper nouns are nouns, are naming nouns. We name things under, pro under proper nouns. And let's get to our activity. Our activity says find the noun in the following sentences. Sentence number one, we have Anna is ready. In these sentences, what is a noun there? Our noun is Anna. Why do we say Anna is a noun? Anna is a noun because it's the name of a person. And what type of noun is Anna? Anna is a proper noun. Remember that proper nouns are nouns that name things, places, or names. And then we have sentence number two. Sentence number two is Tina is rich. What noun is what noun is, can we find here? The noun is Tina. Tina is a noun, is also a noun, is a proper noun because it's a name of a is the name of a person. And one, two, three, you're gonna do it as your homework. And now for your classwork, you're gonna go find six examples of common nouns and six examples of proper nouns. And I hope tomorrow everyone will come here knowing what is a noun and types of nouns. Thank you for your attention.